With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Today our question is, one of the vertices of a triangle whose midpoint of edges are 3, 1, 5, 6 and minus 3, 2 is. So we have to find out the vertices of a triangle whose midpoints are given to us. Let's say that this is our triangle and the vertices are A, B, C having the coordinates of midpoints as 3, 1, 5, 6 this will be your 5 comma 6 right here this is the midpoint right and this is your minus 3 comma 2 so let's assume that the coordinates of a is mn coordinates of b is op op and coordinates of c is qr it's mn op qr so we can say that if this is the midpoint if 3 comma 1 is the midpoint of points OP and MN then we can write them as O plus M X1 plus X2 upon 2 will give us the midpoint of this line for X axis and Y1 plus Y2 will give us for Y axis of P plus N by 2. We have given the coordinates as 3 comma 1 right so this is what our first equation using line AB. Right now we will use the line BC. Right for that our coordinates are BC. That means O plus Q by two comma P plus R by two. Given to us as five comma six. Right, so five comma six. Now the third line is AC. Right, so using AC we can write here M plus Q upon 2 comma n plus r upon 2 is given to be minus 3 comma 2 right so now we will use the elimination method so that we will left with we are having three coordinates here o m and q right in the three x coordinates we have only three variables and for that we have three solutions as well 3 5 and minus 3 so we sh we have to do something such that uh, we will left with only two variables in one equation so for that let's eliminate the variable m so the first equation is o plus m upon 2 and its corresponding value is 3 so we can write here that o plus m is equals to 6 right now we have in the second relation we have o plus q by 2 we have we don't have any m term so we will take the third term now m plus q upon 2 is equals to minus 3 because we have decided to eliminate the term m so m plus q by 2 and its corresponding value is minus 3 so m plus q will become minus 6 right we can see the coefficients of m and m are same so we can just subtract these two equations right 1 minus 2 will give us o plus m is equals to 6 m plus q is equals to minus 6 so plus minus minus plus right so m plus m minus m will be cancelled out and we will left with o minus q is equals to minus 6 plus 6 now this is 6 plus 6 that means it will become 12 Right, so O minus Q is equals to 12 is our first derived relation. Right, now we have another relation in terms of O and Q only as second term O plus Q upon 2 upon is equals to 5. So we could write here O plus Q upon 2 is equals to 5. That means O plus Q is equals to 10. So now we have two relation in terms of O and Q. So we can just add them because we have alternate signs of Q here. So using using these two equations we can write here o plus q is equals to 10 o minus q is equals to 12 so q minus q will be 0 and 2 o will become 22 from here o's value will become 11 so now the value of o is 11 right so we can just put this value of o into this first equation o plus m put 
O is equals to 11 in 1. First equation is O plus M is equals to 6. So O plus M is equals to 6. M is equals to 6 minus O is equals to 6 minus 11. That means minus 5. So the value of M is minus 5. And now we have the value of M. So we can just put it into this equation m plus q upon 2 is equals to minus 3 m plus q upon 2 is equals to minus 3 m plus q will become minus 6 q will become minus 6 minus m minus m is minus 5 so plus 5 so it will become minus 1 so the value of q is minus 1 right now we have find out all our x coordinates right now we will find out our y coordinates so o p and r so we will use the second relations now so our first relation will be p plus n by 2 is equals to 1 p plus n by 2 is equals to 1 so we will write here for y coordinates the first relation will be p plus n by 2 is equals to 1 right from here we can write p plus n is equals to 2 now similarly we will use the last relation here to eliminate the term n so the last relation will be n plus r by 2 is equals to 2 we can see here n plus r by 2 is equals to 2 right so from here this is our third equation and this will be n plus r is equals to 4 will be our fourth equation so now we will use these two equations to find out the value of p and r so p plus n by 2 is equals to 2 and n plus r is equals to 4 so we are just subtracting these two equation 3 minus 4 3 minus 4 will make it p minus r is equals to minus 2 right p minus r is equals to minus 2 and using the second relation for y axis will give us p plus r by 2 is equals to 6 so p plus r is equals to 12 and we have derived that p minus r is equals to minus 2 so using these two relations adding these two relations will give us 2p is equals to 10 that means p is equals to 5 so the value of p is 5 if p is 5 then we can say that uh, p plus n is 2 so if p is 5 n will become minus 3 right so n is what minus 3 and if n is minus 3 then r will become n plus r is equals to 4 we'll write here n plus r is equals to 4 r is equals to 4 minus n 4 plus 3 so n r will become 7 so now we have find out our all values so the first value is m and m is minus 5 and n is minus 3 so the first coordinate will be minus 5 comma minus 3 similarly o is 11 and p is 5 so 11 5 and q is minus 1 r is 7 so we will match all the values with the given values we can see only the first one is matching right in the second we have 1 7 so we don't have any coordinate as 1 7 and we don't have minus 11 and 5 as well so our option 1 is the only correct one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.